know that Jesus loves you at your worst and ugliest. Amen. A reading Bible verse for today is taken from the first book of John chapter 4 verse 16. And the word reads, And we have known and believe the love that God has for us. Amen. Amen. Brethren, you may know that God cares for you and loves you. And that he demonstrated his love for you by dying on the cross for you. But do you believe it? It is one thing to know about the love of God towards you. It is one thing to know about the love that God has for you. But another thing to actually believe it's in your heart that you are loved by God. Brethren, it is one thing to know that the sun shines on us during the day. But it is another thing to believe that the sun is still shining even though we don't feel its warmth. And all we see are dark clouds. Sometimes we are slow in believing God's love for us when we are going through a tough time. But God wants you to know and believe that he loves you in the midst of the deal falling through. When that job is low in coming, when the boss is fault finding, or when your child still refuses to come home, God still loves you. In the midst of the pain, God still loves you. He wants you to know and believe that he is holily on your side, defending and taking care of you. And if God, the most powerful being in the universe, is for you, can anyone, if God, the most powerful being in the universe, is for you, can anything come against you successfully? Perhaps you feel like you have messed up big time. God wants you to know and believe that though others may be angry with you, he will never be angry with you. Neither will he condemn you. The sum, the sum total of his anger against your sins fell upon Jesus at the cross. Remember? So he wants you to know and believe that he will never punish you because Jesus was punished. In your place God is a faithful God Do you know that when you feel unworthy because you have just blown it for the last time know and believe that your Heavenly Father still offers you the gift of no condemnation so brother sister come boldly to his throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace see Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 Brethren, know and believe that since God loved you and died, since God loved you and gave up his only begotten son who died for you while you were still a sinner at your worst and ugliest, how much more is his love for you now that you are his beloved child and the righteousness of God in Christ? Think about that. And as you journey through this week, remember that God loves you at your worst and ugliest. Amen. You are highly favored, deeply loved, and greatly, greatly blessed. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for your daily grace inspiration messages. And also remember that you are highly favored, deeply loved, and greatly blessed. You are so dear to the Lord. You hear that you are so dear to the Lord. Speak to him. He listens. Bye-bye.